Today, I'll be letting eBay decide what game we platinum next. We'll be focusing on PlayStation 3 for this video as there's so many games we still haven't covered yet for the channel. A few things I've taken into consideration for this series. The game has to be achievable, the game has to be working from the site, and it has to be something we haven't covered yet. So let's go straight to the site and let eBay pick our next platinum trophy. How this is gonna work, we've got PlayStation 3 games in the search bar. I'm gonna blindfold myself and scroll through all the games. Whatever my mouse clicks on is what we'll be purchasing, and we're gonna go for that platinum trophy okay i'm scrolling hopefully it's going to be clicking on something that will be a game that we can platinum let's hope it's nothing too expensive and nothing too difficult just going to keep scrolling let's get a good variety here what are we getting what are we getting what are we getting all right i'm going to click on that i don't know if i clicked on anything what is it spider-man the amazing spider-man you can't make this up no way oh yo okay i'm excited for that the amazing spider-man what a time of release considering we've got the <laughs> we've got the game that's come out yo that would be cool all right let's do it let's play the amazing spider-man i always wanted to play this one too Starting off the first mission in the game, we're in the shoes of Pete. Gwen has snuck us into the Oscorp building to investigate the rumours of the company continuing Dr. Kirk Connor's cross-species experiments. As we explore the facility, we get caught by Alastair Smythe, the director of Oscorp, someone who we'll be very familiar with later in the game. Smythe giving us more of a detailed tour on Oscorp's restricted areas and the many experiments, we run into our first problem. After seeing Scorpion for the first time, he's had a sudden reaction to Pete, as he's also a cross-species himself. He's now broken free along with the other Oscorp cross species. This can't be happening. No, no, Gwen, look at me. Gwen! Straight into the action, we managed to save Gwen and navigate through Oscorp. With her now being infected along with the other scientists, they've all been placed into quarantine. Now that Gwen is safe for the meantime, we shift our focus on a much larger problem at hand. All of Smythe's cross-species experiments have escaped Oscorp and have started to infect the citizens of Manhattan. After the outbreak, we find Spider-Man overlooking the city. We take to the sky with our webs and source out any trouble that has hit Manhattan. We come across a news crew that have discovered one of the first few cross-species running rampant. Now having bigger problems to face, we have to take on the SO-1, a cross-species hunting machine created by Smythe. Not only is this machine created to terminate any cross-species in the city, it's now targeting us as we're a cross-species too. I can't help but say this was a terrific introduction to the game. Not only do we witness the first taste of some amazing cutscenes in the game, but earn our first trophy for defeating the SO-1. With the SO-1 now defeated, we have to find ourselves a cure to this virus spreading across the city. And where's a better place to start than the man who created the virus, Dr. Kirk Connors? We now find ourselves breaking into the mental institution where Connors has been imprisoned before the outbreak. Always insisted I focus on bats instead of reptiles for some reason. Uh, no Batman out there, Doc. That's just ridiculous. There is a rat, though. And that rhymes, anyway. I'll bet that one's particularly contagious. You see, it's not the new cross-species themselves that alarm me so much as the deadly virus that's resulted as a side effect. And you say it's infected half my former colleagues. And Gwen. And Gwen. And our only hope is what? Alastair Smythe and his band of killer robots? They destroy the city worse than the virus could ever hope to. There has to be another way. Well, 
You don't think I broke in here just to tell you the good news, do you? Wait. What are you talking about? I'm gonna get you out of here. Really? Spider-Man breaking out the lizard from his cage? <laughs> Who's the crazy one here? Now finding ourselves further inside the institution, we need to unlock the cell Connors is in, but we've run into a slight dilemma. Hey, get away from there! No, no, no! It's emergency unlock! I, I can't overwrite it! The patients can leave their rooms! This is your fault! You gotta help me! I have to help you? <laughs> you tased me, bro! What the hell are you even doing here, Spider-Man? Okay, I'll help you clean up this mess. Make sure your friends don't shoot me in the back. I should shoot you right now. Get out of here. I'm going. Just don't expect a friend request anytime soon. Unfortunately, as we leave the guard without a friend request, we're now aimed with taking out the other inmates before we can get to Connors. With some quick moves and some fun with the fighting mechanics, we secure ourselves our next trophy for a 42 hit combo. Now that we've taken care of the inmates, we stumble across a second room with a working computer. This allows us to finally free Connors and just in time too before the police arrive for some Spider-Man interrogation. Having Connors escaped and now safe, we introduce him to our apartment. Well, not particularly our apartment, but an apartment that's owned by a very special person that's friends with Aunt May. You live here? Are you kidding? I couldn't afford to rent the closet in this place. It belongs to an old friend of my Aunt May. His name's Stan. I'm house-sitting for the summer. As we discuss what Connors will need for this antidote, we've quickly realized he's missing a lot of his research. Can you guess where it is? Yep, right back to Oscorp we go. But before we get there, we need to make another stop to see an old friend causing some destruction in the city. Facing off against Rhino, it was a pretty quick boss fight, more so an introduction to how to use the timed events and recognize enemy patterns. Without any trouble, we took out Rhino and attained another easy trophy. With Rhino defeated, we're now back at Oscorp in the vents. We find ourselves following the guards who are protecting Connor's work from vigilantes like us. As we follow the guards further into Oscorp, we come across another guard that looks very suspicious. This so-called guard is Whitney Chang, an undercover reporter, the same reporter we saw at the start of the game. Saving a lot of time here, Chang is trying to expose the rumours of Oscorp continuing the research of Dr. Kirk Connors. We explain why we're in Oscorp and why we've helped Connors escape from the mental institution. With similar goals in mind, we help Chang unravel the secret information of Oscorp's secret activities and manage to get the research we need to help Connors create that antidote. Now back at the apartment, we see that Connors has done some redecorating. Uh, Doc? Very good. Very good. Did uh, you go shopping while I was out? What? Oh, I had a few essentials delivered. A few essentials? You said yourself your computer is six years old. Where'd you get the money? I used the credit card. C credit card? Yes, that's, uh, that was one on the bookshelf. You said it yourself. We need to turn this place into a proper lab. But that, that was Stan's. Oh, he's gonna kill me. How much did you spend? What? Oh, I'm not sure. I just used it till it didn't work anymore. Don't worry. I only need one more thing. Don't say a jacuzzi. A sample of DNA from one of these new cross species. It's the final piece to complete this puzzle. From the looks of things, you'll have plenty of samples to choose from. I'll take care of it. And that sample we decided to choose was a cross species in the sewers. To find this cross species, we go back to our roots. Spidey roots. We've got multiple webs connecting to each room, acting as a sensor. This was a very subtle mechanic added to the game, but it was terrific. After taking out a few cross species goons, we finally come across the next boss fight. <laughs> he doesn't want to have any part of it. Oh, yeah. Oh. That's not the neighborly welcome I hoped for. Okay, let's go. Fight the rat cross species. Oh, wow, okay. Multiple dodges. Oh, yo. All right, let's go. Let's take him out. Oh, what happens? I didn't do anything. What happens? Oh, yeah. He's such a good design. Like, he looks so ugly. <laughs> oh, no. Oh, we got to go chase him before he cross-contaminates anyone else. we got to follow these rats. Here he is. This is going to be the boss fight. Mr. Rat King. He's so ugly. 
such a cool boss. And back into the sewers he goes. Okay, all that hard work. <laughs> Just crawling in the sewers with all the rats. Oh yeah, here it is. Back to where we were. Oh, he's getting destroyed by all the robots. I'm just going to watch. It's fine with me. No. we got to get him out. got to get that DNA. We can't let him get killed. <laughs> Silly. Oh, take Berman down. I don't know what the method is here. Oh, you've got all the rats attacking you too. Oh, bro, the rats. I can't believe there's so many rats. It's so well thought out, man. Like, you've got to try and keep off the floor because of the rats. But at the same time, you got to try and hurt him. Oh, dodge, dodge. All right, all right. For the rats. Nice. Oh, perfect, perfect. Come on. I'm going to do the dodges. Dodge, dodge, dodge. Oh, oh, that looks like a cutscene. Take down Berman. Objective completed. That was very easy, but still very fun. Not today. Uh-oh. Oh, no. Oh, no. Oh, another boss fight? Back to back? What are we doing? Following it, of course. Alright, we're gonna web strike him while we're in the air. This is sick. That is so cool, bro. Come on, let's get it, let's get it! Yes! Oh, did we destroy it? I think we destroyed it. That's so cool. Bro, this game is phenomenal. We finally get back to Connor's and give him the blood sample they need for the antidote. While we're at the apartment, we get a call from Gwen, updating us on her status with the other patients. Not only is Gwen looking a lot worse, some changes are now happening due to the virus. We hurry Connor's along, now giving us the antidote. We find ourselves back at Oscorp once again. We of course get through the facility by the vents. Finally making some progress to see Gwen, we have a slight interruption with someone we spotted at the start of the game. Oh no! I think that's Scorpion, bro. Wild. Just completely different design. Oh, great. Then we gotta fight these guys. Making quick work of the two guards, we can now save Gwen and the scientist. We give Gwen the antidote to help cure her from the virus, but before she gets to inject it herself, Smythe has other plans. Without further delay. Now that Smythe has lost the ability to walk due to what we believe was the antidote, he's now commanded his robots to eliminate us. We manoeuvre ourselves around Oscorp without any harm, but of course it was a little too easy. There's something we've forgotten about. Ah, here it is. Here is Scorpion. Oh, he looks crazy. Dodge. Nice. Cinematics. <laughs> go up there. Perfect. We're learning. We'll go behind him. This fight is intense. Multiple dodges. Multiple dodges. Come on. Do it again. Nice. Come on. I feel like he wouldn't have much help left. Yes. Oh, I almost died too. Oh. Woo. Oh. I'm sorry, Scorpion. Woo. Yeah, look how much help I've got left. Oh, looking a bit rough. Good stuff, Spider-Man. Tail, you lose. Defeated Scorpion. That was a sick fight, though. That was cool. Go figure this out, and then oh, another hunter. A big one, though. I reckon this is the next boss. Oh, this game does not slow down. It's so intense. Oh, bro. Oh, yo, this is insane. All right, where, where, where do you go? Oh, he's right there. Okay. Dodge! <laughs> oh, yo! Oh, that's so cool. Web strike. 
perfect. Yo. Absolutely insane, dude. This is so awesome. All right. We're going to go for it. Let's go back in. Yep. He is getting destroyed. Oh, no. Leave the action news in the line. What do they do to you? Rescue the helicopter. Let's go. Oh, yo. This is like absolutely insane. Oh, yeah, we are. Oh, we've got to save them. We've got to save all the pedestrians. Oh, no. Oh. No, but I hope everyone's gone home from work. This is crazy. Just jump, just jump. There we go, perfect. All right, web strike. Let's go in. Oh, circle. Oh, let's pull out the eye. Yo. Oh, so awesome, dude. All right, he's coming back. He's coming back around. Oh, come on. Ooh, go, 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 go. Yes. All right, perfect. We're on the second sequence now. Let's go. Oh, still circle, still circle. Come on, come on, Spidey. I just, this game has no right being so good. This should be it. Going in. Yes. Is he almost dead? Oh, oh, what's going on? Oh no. We're brushing Tenna, come on. Tenna, come on, save us, and Tenna, no! Okay, oh, come on, Spidey, come on, Spidey. Oh, uh, hang in there. Oh no! Did we get it? Did we get it? Yes, we got it. Oh, bro, that has done it. Unlocked. Defeat Smite So2, and I think that will pop another trophy. There it is. Big Apple, Big Worm. That's for defeating the second. Oscorp robots. Oh, far out. That was wild. After that incredible boss fight with the SO2, we head back to Stan's apartment to recover. But before we can rest, we confront Connors on the antidote and what it did to Smite. My god, what happened to you? What happened? Thanks to your antidote, not only is Dr. Smythe crippled, but now I'm afraid he's gonna hurt Gwen. That's what happened. But my antidote shouldn't interfere with this. Well, it did interfere. It interfered real bad. He can't walk anymore. You told me it would work. I said, theoretically. Theoretically? This is not a science project. People's lives are at stake. Are you the lizard or Kirk Connors? Tell me. If you are seriously asking me that question, maybe you should have just left me at the asylum. Gwen is still back there. Do you know what's going to happen if she changes? I did my best. <laughs> we'll save her. We will. You're bleeding. So what? You're tired. You need to lie down. No. I need to save Gwen. I need to save everybody. Peter, you need rest. I can't stop. I, 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 I've got to... Sleep, Peter. I'm going to finish this. Just sleep. As we awake, we hear Connors muttering some thoughts out loud. While Pete was asleep, Connors was able to complete the antidote. He discovered that Peter is the perfect cross species, as his human side has never given way to the spider genetics. Just as we get the antidote, we receive another call from Gwen. She has given us an update on Smythe and his condition. But before we could discuss anything further, we see Gwen is in trouble due to Smythe's robots. Back at Oscorp, we need to take out more guards to get to where Gwen is being held. But just before we can go any further, we had to include this banter between the guards as I thought it was stupidly funny. I don't hear a lot of noise over there. It's because we're talking about how fat your mom is. After that hilarious comment, we managed to hack into the computer system. We give the scientists a quick update on the new antidote that should save everyone at Oscorp. As per usual, we take out more guards, find more collectibles, and manage to secure ourselves another trophy for 50 stealth kills. Locating the scientist, we defeat Smice robots and find out the scientists have configured a robot to be on our side. This will be very useful later on. We finally get to Gwen, have a quick heartfelt moment that was a little cheesy, and escape Oscorp safely. With Gwen now safe, we have some unfinished business out in the city, a certain someone we need to take care of. Oh, leave that poor man alone, what has he done? All right, there he is. Take you out, do a couple hits. Oh, we got a dodge, nice. 
It's not pretty hard to fight, actually. It's just he's got those gunk shots that he likes to do. Perfect. And I think he's got one more move here. Yep. Alright, we'll go in. Get another hit in. We'll dodge this. Come on. Come on. More dodges, more dodges, more dodges. There's a pretty uh, simple pattern to follow. It's not really too difficult. Alright. Oh, he, he tagged us. He tagged us. Oh, I tried to dodge that. Didn't last dodge it. What happens? What happened? Okay. Okay. We got him. We got him. Oh, oh, the cinematics. Oh, straight into the police truck. While Connors focuses on another antidote for the citizens of Manhattan, we take that time to help those in need. A pretty easy side quest, locating the infected and taking them to the nearest medical shelters. After saving a handful of civilians and wanting to get an update from Connors on the antidote, we head back to the apartment. Hello? Dr. Connors? Dr. Connors? CDC upgraded it to an outbreak level disaster. People all over the city show symptoms of what we now know as the cross-species virus, following attacks by the creatures... What have I done? The next hunter. Oh my gosh, what happened there? Oh, we've got to take out the little ones first. I'm just trying to keep up with all the movement on the screen. Perfect. I reckon this is it. This is the hunter. Come on, get rid of at least one hunter. Come on, come on, come on. Okay, I think that's one of them done. We're getting some movement. Yes, we're on the second one now. Perfect. And the other one is completely out of range. Let's go. Alright, and we've got one more hunter left. Yes, let's get rid of these hunters, man. Let's progress. Finally. See you later. Off you go. Oh, I am done with those. They are a pain. That was a struggle and a half. Doing three all at once. Fire out. Oh, there's more pedestrians. Oh, beating the odds. At least we got a trophy. Breaking into Oscorp for the last time, we see Smythe and Connors discussing the plans of saving the city. Smythe is adamant his solution is best for everyone and not destructive in any way. After Smythe has forced Connors into imprisonment for not agreeing to help with his devious plans, we break him out and leave Oscorp before any more trouble can happen. Well, that's what we thought. I can't leave you behind. Smythe is doing this because of me. Yep, there it is. Oh no. or not you have to go okay you mind if i borrow these spider-man connor's is right you shouldn't have come but i knew you couldn't resist what would people say if spider-man couldn't save his friends one last chance smite stop all this or what Connors did his part, and now you will do yours. And in time, this will all come to an end. What are you talking about? I had no real interest in Connors. I wanted the bigger fish. But let's not spoil the surprise. <laughs> You're still infected, Smite. And I don't have much time, do I? And now, my guinea pig, just relax. Oh no. Testing it first. I'm not crazy. <laughs> oh no. Wow. Shh. This is nuts. So, how would you like your tombstone to read? Spider Man? Oh no. Parker. took my oh, legs, but you right. will never take my genius. My genius created this, and this what? will pound you into oblivion. Bruce turned into a mech. Oh no, what am I just so into it? I got no powers. Oh, what am I doing? I got no powers. What am I, how am I supposed to dodge him? Oh my. I feel like I did it okay, but oh no. Wow, what? Succeeded, and I, yeah. I'm no longer Spider-Man. 
Oh my god, this is insane. We don't have our like our powers anymore. My web shooters. Can't leave without those. And my phone too. Okay, we got something back at least. I'm too weak to swing on a web. Oh no. I can still shoot a few. It's gonna be a big boss fight. Fly him up and find an exit. Oh no. I thought they weren't attacking us. No! Run, run, run! Go, 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 go. Come on, Spidey. You need a rest. You need to go somewhere safe. Alright, I'm out. I'm out. See you guys. I'm out of here. Do I go through? No, I don't. Where am I supposed to go? What's going on? There's just so many. Where am I supposed to go? Oh, there's just so many robots below. Oh, I fell. No. Oh, no, there's so many. No, get out of my way. Oh, Spidey, jump. Use your legs. Come on. Oh, far out. Okay. Halfway, I think. Hopefully. Oh, great. No. Run, run, jump. Jump! No! Go! Go! Escape! The Oscorp Robotic Labs. Objective completed. Infected 1,537,125 people. Wow, this is crazy. This is a completely different story to what you normally see from the Spider-Man games. Everyone's turning. And we look at us like... Wow. Should be pretty close. Hey, Peter, this is Stan. Not Stan. That's so cool. That's so cool. Yeah, I rate that. That's awesome. Alright, we're in the sewers. We're somewhat safe for the meantime. Now we're going to go find Connor's. We now find ourselves underground at Connor's makeshift lab. Seeing Gwen, we explain how we've gotten ourselves in this condition and why we don't have much strength left. Between Gwen and Connor's, they discuss what needs to be done to save the city without Pete. With the little life we have left, we try to convince Connor's to not inject himself with this antidote, turning him into the monster that caused this huge problem. Now listen to me. There's a time window before the lizard brain takes over. A window where I'm in control. I can use the lizard's powers to defeat the robots. And I swear I'll be back before it takes over. It's our only hope. Coming back to life thanks to Gwen, we've suddenly realised what we saw wasn't a dream. Connors took the antidote and has now turned into the lizard. We quickly get back on our feet and find ourselves back outside, where everything has gone wrong. Having our powers stripped away thanks to Smice nanobots, we can't get across the city to help Connors. But just as all hope is lost, we bumped into an old friend. Okay, we need to take those out. You won't prevent me from saving this city. Oh, come on. Open up. Okay, cool. There we go. There goes the fourth field. I'll have to do this myself. Peter, I'm... Oh no, he's turning, I called it. No. Oh no. Oh, I don't know how to get through this. You web him up. Web strike. Okay. It's a pretty simple method. Cutscenes look incredible. Come on, Connors. Nice. Good stuff. 
Come on, bro. You got so much web on you. Surely that's enough. There we go. Web strike. Come on, Connors. So cool. Oh. No. Oh, no. It's just us. He's going nuts. He's going nuts with the lasers. Oh, Connors, wake up, bro. I can't do this by myself. Oh, I'm so dead. I'm so dead. I'm so dead. I knew it. Oh. Yeah, so I've got to sit in the middle and jump over them. That makes more sense. All right, now I'm figuring it out. Why is it not letting me uh, finish the, the prompt? I'm doing, the, I'm doing the, the webs, bro. I'm doing the webs. Is it going to let me do it? That's so annoying. There's no prompts, bro. That's such a glitch. Yeah, it doesn't give me the option to do the web strike, bro. No, that's so annoying. Let's hope that it's still saved on that part. It won't let me progress. That's so frustrating. There we go. Perfect. All right, it's giving us the option for the web strike. Okay, all right. New personal best. Let's go. Come on. Take him out. Look at him. Looking so weak. Yes. Good stuff, Spider-Man. Whoa. Oh, no. Now we got to fight. No. Oh, what a turn of events. Oh, stop smite before it releases the nanobots. Oh, remember, tomorrow is saved. That's for defeating the third machine by smite. The S3. There goes Connors. Okay. Wow. Look around you. This is your idea of saving the city? They must, they must leave us to brighter, better tomorrow. Forget about tomorrow, Smythe. It may not come. Oh my god. My god, what have I done? With Smythe now captured, we need to focus on getting Connors back to normal. He's head back down to the lab, and with Gwen still there, who knows what could happen. Just like the other levels, we get through a variation of obstacles and defeat more enemies. However, in this level, we come across a completely different foe. A foe created in Oscorp. Is this going to be another fight? Oh, whoa! What is that? Fight the Piranha Cross species. That's so cool. That is insane. Okay, that did not block. That looks like it's so weird. Like, what a cool design. Wow. Oh, no, there's more of them. I don't know if I'm supposed to be trying to take out him or if I'm trying to take out the other ones. There's one knocked out, so I guess it is working. Where's the where's the water? Take that out. All right, let's go, Prana boy. I reckon he's going to bring some more in. Oh, cutscene. Yo. Oh, I webbed him up like a cocoon. That was so cool. Reach Connor's lab. Objective updates. I think that's a trophy. Uh, there it is. Deeply sorry. That was for defeating the piranha species. Protect Gwen and the hunter. Come on, Gwen. You got this. Alright, we've got to fight them. As much as I don't want to, we're going to take these guys out. Alright, Pete. Oh, Haymaker. I think that's for using... Uh, it was like a, a special move in the game. Uh, I can just put it up on the screen here um, as I'm <laughs> a bit occupied at the moment. But it's like a combo between your web attacks and uh, the pity enemies. All right, we'll take these guys out. Oh, Lizard. Oh, no. Connors. I reckon this is the last one. Get out of here. Yeah, that's what we thought. Saving Gwen from Connors, we have a quick reunion and try to figure out why she's down here in the sewers with her configured hunter. She goes on to explain that the hunter is loaded with the antidote. This will be our way to save Connors and the city. Oh, wow. Okay, sick. Yo, okay. How the tables have turned. How we have been trying to avoid all of these in the city and now we're using it. Oh, this is awesome. Wow. Destroyed. Oh no! And we got to fight him in the meantime. Uh, all right, got to fight him. Oh, give me that. 
Interact, interact. Come on, let's find the serum. Let's find the serum. I feel like Connors is going to hit us. I don't know what he's doing. Where is he? He's behind. Dodge. Did we get him in time? Oh, bro, I swear I dodged that. Get out of here, bro. Nah, I don't know. This is tough, bro. Oh, okay. Okay, so I need to wait for the prompt to do my uh, swing attack, I think. Get him to the wall. Okay, okay. I think I might have found a method now. We'll go here. Let's do that. Interact. Maybe I just keep swinging around and then when it comes close to the prompts, and then I just come in and hit him. Alright, there he is. He's coming in again. There he is, right behind us. We got the serum. Oh, okay, cutscene. Okay, now what? Oh, yo! Oh, we're chasing him. Oh, no. We're in his element now. Oh, no! Oh, no! <laughs> no! Oh, no! Yo! Oh, this game is sick, dude. Really is. Oh, my God. I don't know if I'm supposed to web him. There we go. Web shoot is to stop the lizard. Oh, well, it would be nice if you told me that. Oh, so we slow him down, and then it gives us uh, some time to hit him. All right, that makes more sense. Web strike. Come on, get some hits in. There we go. Come on, Connors. Dodge. Oh, it's a timed event. Okay. All right, all right. Back onto the... Oh, oh, oh. We got to... Come on. Come on. Take the serum, Connors. Oh. What do you mean? I don't understand. I was pressing the button. Oh, what? Can I just do this? Will this work? <laughs> That's working. Okay. All right. So I think it's one, two, three. And then... Oh, are they going to do... No? Come on. Take it this time, Connors. You're so close. Come on. Come on. He doesn't want to take the serum. Yes. Yes. Come on. Did it work? I think it worked. Yes. Perfect. Connors, come on, wake up! Are you all right? You, you saved the lizard. I saved you. Is everyone all right? Gwen, she's fine. You didn't hurt anybody, except me. What about Smythe? If there's any justice in the jail cell downtown. I guess his dream failed. <laughs> he saw the world in black and white. And tried to shape it to his vision. But it's all just shades of grey, isn't it? I guess so. <sighs> well, I guess it's time to get back to the asylum. I hear it's movie night. I'm being told that I'm being told that Dr. Smythe, who was arrested earlier today for his involvement in this crisis, has apparently escaped police custody. A guy in a wheelchair ran away from the police? <sighs> I gotta do something. Tomorrow. Deal with it tomorrow. No way that was the game. That was the whole story. That was for finishing the game on easy. That was for finishing the game on medium difficulty, vigilante. And then Spider-Man for finishing the game on Hero. I'm turning into one of them. Okay, wow. Okay, so this is... It hasn't finished yet. How can you regain your humanity when the beast infects your soul? I did the right thing. I had the answer. Now he's turning. My thoughts, my body. I will not live like that. I am dead. And I am in control. In control. This is crazy, bro. Yeah. 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 Wow. Saying our final goodbyes to Smythe as he's been terminated from the Hunter, we've now finished the game. As for our completion status, we've still got a lot of work to do as we're currently sitting on only 33%.
The first side mission we completed was helping all the infected civilians. I briefly touched on this earlier in the video. The same method applies here, finding the civilian on the map and taking them to the medical shelter. When we managed to save everyone around the city, we popped the trophy sanitized. For the next trophy, we had to do almost the same thing, but with the mental patients that escaped the prison earlier in the video. I enjoyed these a lot more as some of the lines from the patients were hilarious. Why do butterflies come from caterpillars if not butter? Getting these all completed, we pop peace of mind. As for the next few tasks, I'll briefly go over these. Most Spider-Man games have a time challenge of some sorts, webbing around the city and getting through obstacles. In this game, they were called X-Challenges. One challenge focused on webbing to each flare within a certain time limit, some very easy stuff. The other challenge was even easier, all you had to do was just focus the camera lens on Spider-Man while he webs through the city. Getting these finished, we secure these trophies here. Now something that wasn't as easy, finding all the comics. You'd think, oh surely it's not that bad, and most times I would agree. What's a few collectibles in a game? Well, in this Spider-Man game, you need to collect 700 comics. Yep, 700. Around 600 in the city and 100 scattered across each level. I managed to collect a lot of these between missions and side quests. It wasn't the worst thing to do as I managed to collect around 400 without any issues. What was awesome though, as I hit 500 comics, the devs implemented icons on the map for the ones that weren't collected. I can't tell you how relieved I was. It made it so much easier, and I think every game should include this feature with ridiculous amount of collectibles to find. Getting around the city really quick with this feature, we found our last comic in Free Roam getting on the Fly Trophy. So with majority of the cleanup done, other than a few miscellaneous trophies left, we decided to focus on the last remaining villains around the city. The first out of the three villains we decided to face was Miss Felicia. Why can't you have a nice normal safe I can break into? I won't ask you again. The codes. Oh, she ain't messing around. Cops all over the place. There's no way out. Don't sweat it. I have an escape plan. We know you're in there, Felicia. <laughs> you and your cousin. It's Felicia. Nice and easy. I see my reputation precedes me. Dad would be so proud. You come mm. with me. Damn, Felicia ain't messing around. Now I've got to take out the her goons, I'm guessing. Make it a bit easier for when we fight all of them. That's the first goon gone. Easy. Still, still. Yes. Perfect. Look at that angle. Such a cool combo, bro. I love it. Oh, so cool. All right, let's go get her. Come on, Felicia. Where you at? Oh. Yo. Bro, I'm like paralyzed. That's not fair. Defeat Felicia Hardy. Oh. Oh, dude. Chill. Why does she have so many? I need to regain my health. Oh my god, I thought she was going to be easy to fight. Bro, she's on it. Fight out, relax. Oh, web retreat. No. She's like baiting us so hard. I don't know what the method is. I'm trying to web her up at least. There we go, web strike. That's what we have to do. We have to wait for a prompt. Do I just need to keep doing this until it gives us the prompt? Is that enough? Is that enough web, Felicia? Yeah, there it is. Okay. Now we've got the hang of it. Just need a Weber and then do our direct attack. There we go. There we go. Another one. Oh, come on. Come on. Yes. There it is. There it is. No. Oh. Where'd she go? Has she dipped? I actually have no idea where she went. There she is. Oh, I missed her. I suck. I absolutely missed her. It doesn't. I don't know what the prompt is. I don't know what to do. Am I supposed to web her? Ah. Oh. I don't know, man. Why? I feel like that wasn't supposed to be as hard as it was. I gotta, like, web her just on the ground, just before she throws that bomb, and then I can take her out that way. Alright, come on, Felicia. Take it. Come on, what do you got without your gadgets? You're not Batman. There we go. Web strike. There's the prompt. Come on. Come on, Felicia. Oh, take you out. Come on. There it is. Signature move. Finally. Oh, you were a pain. Jinx. For defeating Felicia. Oh, and the cross species the outfit. It gave me. You know, to beat the living crap out of criminals like you. Oh, I'll bet you say that to all the girls. Only the ones I really <laughs> like. I see behind bars. A spider first, then a lizard. Maybe I could be part of your little animal kingdom. Bro, she needs to chill. As you can see, we've got game completion on 80%. Bosses defeated 84%. Meaning we still have two bosses to do, which I had a bit of a sneak peek. I have a feeling we've got a familiar face and someone or something we saw at the start of the game. I was supposed to fix this pump, but everything's shut down and, and there's a 
giant monster in the Oh yo, it's Rhino! Oh bro. Oh jeez. He's just angry. He just wants the Russian <laughs> far out. Now what seems to be the problem here? Can you find the main pump station? You can clean all the toxic goo out from there. Do I look like a plumber? It'd be nice if you gave me that pump to start. Okay. Oh, this is going to be a boss fight. I reckon Rhino is going to be down here. So, this is definitely something uh, Rhino would be in. He's going to come through right now. Just as we get the power back on. There he is. So cool, bro. He's come back for a better fight. Alright, Rhino, let's... Oh, yo, <laughs> relax! Oh, damn. All right, relax, relax. All right, dodge. We're just going to try and make him break into everything. All right, let's go this way. All right, Rhino. Yo! Yo! Oh, bro. I was in a prompt. I was in a prompt. All right, so... Oh, okay. Let's go here. Uh, okay, yep. All right, all right. Now I get it. Now I'm, now I'm on it. Hopefully, it should work out for him to run into it. No, oh, not enough time. Not enough time. All right, here we go. This is it. This is it. This is the one. No, he completely missed it. Come on, mate. Go into the web. Go into the electrical web. Come on. There it is. Perfect. Web strike. All right. There it is. Yo. All right. All right. There it is. Dodge. Last one. Yes. Clutch. Let's go. Such a good design as well. Oh, down for the count, defeating Rhino one last time. That was a cool fight. I really enjoyed that. That was more fun than the first fight we had with him. Now, let's get those magazines and then go on to the next sewer mission. All right, everything's looking pretty clean except for the one sewer entry, which is our last mini boss. For our last mini boss in the game, we're back to the sewers. We need to find the district attorney and rescue him. There's not a whole lot of context here, but assuming he has been taken by a cross species and now it's our job to find him. Nothing out of the ordinary, dodging more enemies and fixing more generators. We finish up with a puzzle and can now get to the end of the level to find the boss. But before we do, we need to finish up our last collectible trophy for finding all magazines throughout each level. This should be the very last magazine we need to collect for the entire game. There it is, number eight, the final magazine out of like 600, 700 magazines, librarian, oh bro, that is oh, that's such a good feeling to have that done. All right, now we can get onto the fight, let's go. Oh, yo. How about you let me take this gentleman and walk quietly out of here? What a cool villain, dude. Got chains on and stuff, defeat the iguana. Oh, what? I dodged, bro! I dodged! Oh, this is gonna be a bit of work. I'm just gonna try and take out all the goons if I can. He's just watching! What is he? <laughs> He's... Oh, oh! Alright, we'll be able to start this fight in a minute after these two goons are done. Multiple dodges. <laughs> oh, get out of the way, Spider! Get out of the way! Get out of the way! Alright, now we can focus on the iguana. Such a cool design. Multiple dodges. Oh, come on. There it is. There it is. Oh, yo. Okay, find and rescue the district attorney. Objective completed. This is not why I ran for office. I hear you, but we'll get you out of here soon enough. Thanks, Spider-Man. But I'm not sure I can make it out on my own. Grab on then. Hope you've seen enough in here. The rest of it might be a blur. And that's it. Defeated the Iguana. I think it's finished. Is that it? Yeah, there it is. Apparent defeat. Defeated the Iguana. Alright, well, for something easy, let's get the next trophy, which is for all of the audio clips throughout the game. Okay, last one. The last audio evidence for the entire game. Copying our next trophy. A hey, journalist. Now we go on to our next, uh, next trophy, which is going to be a little bit more difficult, but not too bad. Now we've got the SO1 fight. This will be our second to last trophy. This is pretty easy. We just need to finish the boss off without touching the grounds. All right, there goes that leg. We've got that side over there. Okay, we're doing all right. We are doing really well. I thought this would be a lot harder than it is. That's it. I think that's it. I'm putting an end 
Deactivate the SO1 for one last time. Destroy Smash Robots. Hopefully that should pop the trophy. There it is. The sky is the limit. Alright, so we're back. We've got pretty much everything cleaned up except this one photo article is here. Oh, there's there's the marks. That's what we were looking for. Claw markings go up the wall. And then what's the last one? There's a note in the address directly to you, which I'll take it. It's up here somewhere. That's it. That's the last photo we need to take. You missed me, Spider-Man. There's a note in their address directly to you. And that's it. Concept art unlocked. Last one, infected population zero. And that should hopefully pop our trophy. Amazing Spider-Man. Oh, does everything a spider can. Platinum trophy for the Amazing Spider-Man on PlayStation 3. What a journey. Not only did this game have some incredible graphics for the PlayStation 3, the integrated cutscenes with gameplay was so unique. If you haven't managed to play this Spider-Man game yet, I would highly recommend it. If you did enjoy this video, leave a like and let me know who your favorite villain was. Thank you so much for joining me on this video and such a fun year. We've got a huge video coming up and I can't wait to show it to you all. In the meantime, if you want to watch a similar video to this one, check out the two videos on the end screen. Until next time, you'll stay safe out there. I'll see you all in the next video.